Hey everybody, it's Ray Carcillo. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing well. We got ourselves a good one here as uh, Luis Severino versus Shohei Otani. Otani, I believe, started the uh, the wild card game that the Angels eventually did win against the White Sox, uh, looking to try to salvage the Angels season. Of course, we're going for a sweep here. A sweep would be huge as we get ready for the ALCS. Uh, we still don't know who we're going to play, but Yankees up 2-0 as we head to Anaheim and... Uh, for the place, the Los Angeles Angels. So we head to Angel Stadium. Uh, Luizaga and Green not available today after Green threw a couple of very long innings in the first two games. And again, with the righty on the mound, it is the usual suspects. Uh, right now, Didi Gregorius not doing well. Everybody else, except for Geo. Geo not doing great either, but uh, it is what it is. We ain't going to bench anybody now, especially as we're winning. What's up, Pickaxe? How's it going? So Yankees versus Angels. Chance for the Yankees to sweep. I mean, it's great, Dark Stroke. He pitched two innings against a, a terrible team, but he, he looked good. I mean, again, this is probably what they're going to use him for for the rest of the year. I think that you should use him for this for the rest of his career. I don't think he can start anymore, but that's my opinion. As uh, Yankees up 2-0 here in the ALDS. It's a best of five at Angel Stadium of Anaheim in Anaheim, California. Shohei Otani went five innings against the White Sox, got a no decision, seven hits, six strikeouts, three walks. So looking to have a bit of a better start here. But again, the Angels, he pitched well enough for the Angels to win that wild card to face the Yankees. So so pickaxe. He picked he pitched a good inning the other night, but again it's the Rangers. I'm not impressed by anybody doing well against the Rangers. So DJ LeMay, who first pitched smack to the right side, but Fletcher right there flips the first in time one away. No, the Yankee season isn't over, David. If the Yankees win tonight, the Yankees are back in the wild card picture picture. Dark stroke Severino. No, Dark Sever, Severino is done as a starter, in my opinion. What's up, Matt? How's it going, buddy? What's up, LYGT? It was fine. How are you? So Aaron Judge now steps up to the plate. Otani, fastball, slider, splitter, curveball pitcher, at least here in franchise. First pitch to Judge. Swing and a miss on the splitter, 0-1. As you see there, Judge, Judge was rested a lot against a lot of righties this year. He did not hit as well. He went into a couple of slumps, but still hit well overall. He chases a nasty slider 0-2 there to Judge. So as we start to get back in again, I didn't have time to do my warm-up game today, so I'm a little rusty. As Judge smacks this to the right side, again, Fletcher is there, is tested, fires the first, two away. The Yankees win today. The Yankees are back in the number two seed for the wild card. That's why today's a big deal, and that Tampa took... Uh, two or three from Toronto actually helped the Yankee playoff prospects. As that smacked foul 0-1. I mean, the Rays... No, David, I don't. I really don't think we're going to make the playoffs, honestly. Even if we win tonight. Congratulations, Matt. Congratulations. Even if we win tonight, I, the Yankees, honestly, in my opinion, would have to win six of the next nine. They'd have to take two or three from Boston... Two or three from Toronto as this is fouled back out of play. One and two. And then probably two, at least one, if not two of three against Tampa Bay. And I don't think this, I don't think we can do that. Especially since uh, six of those games are on the road. As this one hit the deep left field. Going back, Peralta still back. Makes the over the shoulder grab right against the fence to end the inning. So DD gave it a ride but remains hitless here in the playoffs. We go bottom one. No score in Anaheim. Yeah, of course, Dark Stroke, because the Mets are garbage. The Mets got swept out of Boston because they are a terrible team. And if they face real opponents, they struggle. So Severino, here speaking of Severino, making his, uh, made 32 starts in the regular year, an 18-3 and record, a 3-1-1 ERA. So Boston's going to win seven in a row now. Fletcher leading off, having a nice playoff, sitting 333. That's three hits and nine ABs. I think or four and 12, maybe. As this one chopped foul 0 and 2. Mets have no pitching. Everybody out the Grom and everybody, they have no pitching. As that's foul back out of play. Syndergaard still hurt. 
His career is in, in jeopardy, in my opinion. As that's foul back out of place, still 0-2. Without DeGrom, like, they don't have anybody. Carrasco has been terrible. Taiwan Walker got blown out tonight. Swing and a miss. Strike three on the low slider. One away. LYGT, I don't care what the Mets do, man. I don't really care. I think the Mets need to get uh, need to figure a lot of stuff out. The Mets have problems from top to bottom in that organization. From their terrible owner to the, the, the trash team they field every night to the uh, to the jerks on the bench. Like, as this one hammered the left, but right at A.J. Pollock. Settles under it, makes the catch two away. Uh, sometimes pickaxe. It depends on what kind of a groove I'm in. As we now, uh, Mike Trout steps up to the plate. Uh, I think that's fair, LYGT, honestly. I mean, but here's the thing. Who do the Mets... I mean, I guess you move McNeil back there to second base. What's up, Isaiah? How's it going? I get a fair amount of walks, pickaxe. I'll get one or two a game. But again, you know, why are you going to show the walks on your highlights? They're, you know... Is this one chop foul? Actually, in a good game, I'll get one or two, but... I mean, I think Baez is a bum. I think he's very overrated. As this one smacked to right, Judge coming on, makes the catch, and that'll end the first. We go top two. No score in Anaheim as both teams went down in order. One, two, three. So Aaron Hicks now leading off, of course, has been a uh, the juggernaut, the engine that has made the Yankee offense run thus far in the playoffs. Swing and a miss on a high slider, 0-1. Is now swinging a miss on a low split or 0-2. His pickaxe gets a posture check. I mean, yeah, sign a, sign a free agent, LYGT. I mean, you know shortstop is going to be Lindor. As that misses outside, 1-2. and two. Right? Like, right now you got McNeil on the left. You're going to put Dom Smith back there? Like, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, as this one popped foul in the left field line, just a hair late on the splitter. So still one and two. That was the pitch to hit. And this one now up the middle and through for a base hit. And something happened with my computer. Can you guys still see the stream? As uh, so choose. So we're going to get back underway. So it's an 0-2 count. Runners at first and second. Adam Frazier just had a bloop single. If you're watching this on the YouTube replay, you're not going to worry about it because all that stuff is going to get cut out. Um... As Gio Urshela skies one to right center field and deep, and it is gone! Goodbye, baseball! His first hit of the playoffs is a three-run bomb to right center field, and the Yankees go up 4 nothing here in the second on a geothermal nuclear blast from Urshela! Holy cow, a hanging slider, and Geo goes oppo bomb. Oh, goodness gracious, what a shot. What a shot by Geo. Almost 100 miles an hour off the bat, 385 feet. And the Yankees are up 4 nothing here in the second. As that misses inside the Pollock 1-0. Yeah, no, Dark Stroke, the, the Holmes trade was very much, was, no, he's been much better. So was Peralta, in hindsight, right? I still like Talkman, but Peralta and Holmes have turned into two very good bullpen pieces over the course of this year, as that misses high 2-0. and oh. And as folks start coming back, I appreciate it again. I apologize for the errors and for the, uh, the computer crash, um, unfortunate as it was, but hey, you saw all the scoring. We paused the game. Meanwhile, the Yankees have come back to take a 7-3 lead in real life. It's a 2-1 to, to Pollock. Swing and a miss. Blew a fastball by him. 2-2. Two two. Good pitch from Otani. But yeah, let me know when you're, when you're here. I appreciate everybody kind of returning as slowly but surely as uh, 
The good news is, is it looks like the computer, it feels like the computer is running better than normal. I just wish it would have waited till after the stream to restart. Swing and a miss, chases one out of the zone, strike three. Yeah, no, I agree, Darkstroke, as long as Sanchez isn't the catcher. So Otani gets his first K of the day, and then DJ LeMay, who now steps up to the plate, 0 for 1 with a ground out to Fletcher. The first pitch to DJ, swing and a miss, can't resist the high fastball, 0 and 1. It'll be a uh, 0-1 oh, to DJ inside, 1-1. One and one. I'm going to have to download both videos <laughs> and stitch them together. Swing and a miss, 1-2 and two to LeMayu before I, before I upload to uh, YouTube. <laughs> the 1-2 to DJ fouled off to the right side, staying alive. Otani already up to 40 pitches as the Yankees have really gotten to him here in the second inning. Well, Mayhew checks his swing. Did he go? No, says the first base umpire. Count evens up at two and two. He's a special he's a lefty specialist in an error dark stroke where lefty specialists no longer work. Swing and a miss, strike three. Yeah, I agree, Dark Stroke. I think Joel e. Rodriguez is done. But Gio Urshela, the three-run bomb, puts the Yankees up four. So I hit on veteran shadow, but I pitch on Hall of Fame. So that's that. Those are my difficulty settings: pitch on Hall of Fame, hit on veteran, because it's hard for me to do play-by-play, -play, talk to chat, and hit. Um, so Anthony Rendon now hitting 417 in the playoffs with three RBIs. He's hit the Yankees very well as he takes a strike there, 0 and 1. As this is chopped foul to the right side, 0-2. Oh, nice, Shadow, nice. And now this one lined over the head of Urshela for a base hit. Pollock will cut it off. Rendon will hold at first with a single. And he continues his hot hitting. He's got he's six straight hits for Rendon against the Yankees. All singles, but still. And that brings up David Peralta, who's also had a very good series here against Yankee pitching. Takes a strike, 0 and 1. Is that where he is, Dark Stroke? Did, the, did he get picked up by the Orioles? As that misses low, 1 and 1. Now outside, 2 and 1. Oh, that's fair, Shadow. That's fair. Now, mind you, when I play online, usually it's all-star across the board. So it's a little harder to hit, but it's a little easier to pitch also. As there's a strike to Peralta, 3-2. and two. The 3-2, smack to the left side, that's a base hit. So the Angels, knowing their playoff lives are on the line, get back-to-back -back singles here in the bottom of the second. Trying to do some damage and get some runs back as Justin Upton... Hitting 200 in the playoffs. Takes one high. 1-0. One oh. Well, there you go, Darkstroke. So, there you go. I didn't even realize. As this hammered foul. 1-1 one and one to Upton. Now, this one. Little dribbler towards third. Gio's going to go to second for one. They will get the force there. And it is a double play. What a turn by LeMayhew. 5-4-3, the Yankees go around the horn as Geo charged it, made a strong throw to LeMayhew, who then made a perfect turn to first. Oh, goodness. They just got Peralta at second, and, ooh, I'm surprised they don't challenge that. They might have got up. They might not have got up to that first, but the Angels are not challenging it. So two away with a runner on third for Jared Walsh. Yeah, me too, Shadow, me too. There's a strike, 0-1. Oh, Severino came after him with nothing but fastballs, and he pulled one right to Geo. As it'll now be an 0-2 to Walsh. Quickly in the hole. Swing and a miss out in front of the changeup. And the Angels threaten, but do not score. Luis Severino gets the double play and a big strikeout. We go top third. Yankees up 4-0. As Aaron Judge 0 for 1 steps into the box now. Our oldest Chapman on for the Yankees. That's how no, much you know this game means to the Yankees tonight. That it's not a save situation. And Chapman is in the game to try and get three outs against Texas. 
Because again, this will put the Yankees back. No worse than a tie after the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays makeup game is tomorrow against the Twins. After tomorrow, the Yankees and Blue Jays will have played the same amount of games. Worst comes to worst. Yankees hold on here. And the Yankees will be at least tied for that last playoff spot. The 0-2 to Judge. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Uh, Odoms, if we sweep, yes. And Shohei Otani. Well, he, you know, this doesn't exactly hurt the Angels. They gave up four runs and two and a third. Dark Stroke, I don't know if we're going to get Breath of the Wild 2, man. I hope so, but I don't know. I think we're going to get a lot of Pokemon stuff, honestly. Pokemon, I've heard rumors of a new Castlevania game, but we'll see. As uh, D.D. Gregorius now, 0 for 8 in the playoffs, steps into the box. But yeah, Odoms, if we sweep, we're doing ALCS Game 1. And it's okay that you were late because we had a computer crash 15 minutes into the stream. So I had to restart everything. So it's okay, Odoms. The 0-1, chopped foul to the left side, 0-2. And and Chapman just struck out Culberson, so two away in real life in the top of the ninth. Rangers down to their last out. Now the 0-2, fouled back in that play by Didi, still 0-2. Pokemon Z. Oh, you're not getting Pokemon Z. You're getting that new Pokemon Ar Arceus. Arceus. As this has popped up foul ground, Sleggers can't make the catch. He was the only one there considering uh, the shift. As this one punched foul again by DD, still 0-2. I mean, you gotta remember, that's not how... Like, Pokemon Z, I mean, yeah, you're, so you're saying as if, like, there was, like, um, like, Pokemon Yellow after Red and Blue and all that. Swing and a miss, strike three. DD. Really struggling here in the playoffs is Aaron Hicks. One for one with a double and a run score. Scored the first run of the game. Steps into the box against Sleggers, who the Angels are going to try and get at least three innings out of, I imagine, as this is grounded foul to the right side. 0 oh, and 1. Playing for their playoff lives. As Hicks fouls off a sinker, 0 oh, and 2. Uh, I mean, that's the thing, Shadow, is is that... I, I don't know, man. Like, sometimes the computer does dumb things. Foul ball there off a of Hicks bat. Still 0-2. Low and outside. Lays off the sinker. 1-2 and two now the count. The 1-2. Low. Good job there. Good eye to lay off that sinker. Evens the count up at 2-2. Two and two. So, Otani gives up four runs in two and a third innings. Two and a third innings as uh, Hicks has worked the count back full now. The payoff pitch to Hicks. Popped up. Fairly deep center field, but Trout is there. Settles under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So, the Yankees go one, two, three here in the third. We go bottom three to the eight, nine, one hitters for the Angels. Yankees up 4 nothing. Mark Canna, the right fielder there, takes a strike. 0-1. Uh, it's the same thing they did last year, Dark Stroke. We'll just probably hear about some of the, you know, some of the stuff that's coming. Some stuff we know, some stuff we don't. And hey, Chapman got another strikeout. The Yankees win 7-3. And are now back into the wild card picture. As this one lined on the right field line, that's going to be a base hit. It's going to roll all the way to the corner as again, Canna beats the shift. Judge gets it in, but it's a leadoff double. Kurt Suzuki now up at the plate, having a terrible series. Still hitting, he had, a, he had an amazing wild card game. But I think he's like one for seven against the Yankees now as he swings and misses there. Oh, and two with a bunch of strikeouts and double plays. And this pitch popped up on the infield. Luke Voigt down from first. He'll make the catch. One away. Yeah, I'm a, we're all big MCU folks over here for sure, Shadow. As uh, David Fletcher 0 for one with a strikeout. Hammers this one towards left center field. Hicks racing back. Will make the catch. Can of tags but stays put. So two away here in the bottom of the third, and that brings up Jose Iglesias, who flew out to left in his first half bat. Tries to do it again almost as he hammers it down the left field line foul, 0-1. 
As now that slider misses low, one and one. Now this is punched foul, one and two. Out in front of the changeup. Now fouls off a fastball, Iglesias making Severino work. Up to 38 pitches, make it 39 here. Is this one punched to the right side? Slow roller for LeMahieu, who snatches it, fires the first. And despite the leadoff double, the Angels do not score. We go top four, four nothing Yankees. You know, Dark Stroke, I watched the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I didn't watch anything after that. I just fell off, I just never got into it, especially being on regular television. I think if that show had come out now on a streaming service, I'd be into it a lot more. Is that on Dark Disney Plus yet or no? Is Luke Voigt one for one with an RBI single? Was erased on a fielder's choice. Now hammers one to deep center field. It's a nuke from Luke into the rock formation. Goodbye, baseball. His first of the playoffs. And it's 5 nothing Yankees. An absolute bomb to dead center as Voigt delivers the fifth Yankee run. Holy cow, what a shot. His second RBI of the night and an absolute no doubter. That brings up JT Real Muto. Now he's 0 for 1 with a fielder's choice and a run scored. Chops it to the right side. Fletcher there will field. Fire the first in time, one away. Yeah, indeed, Dark Stroke, indeed. But there you go, Otani. Four runs, four hits, three strikeouts, two and a third innings pitched. In an elimination game, he got the quick hook. As Adam Frazier won for one with a single and a run scored. Now he's had a great series, hitting 571. Indeed, indeed. Is this one pop foul in the left field line? Oh, and one. I think I got nuke from Luke. I think I got that from you, Dark Stroke. I thought it was a good one. I just, I, so I took it. <laughs> the 0-1 fouled off to the left side, 0-2. And, and I just used to do Luke as that misses inside, 1-2. and two. I'll give credit where it's due. I heard it from somebody else. It wasn't Sterling, because I don't listen to the radio broadcasts as, uh, anymore, as that's flipped foul, still 1-2. and two. Sleggers up to 20 pitches now. So far, an inning. As this one smacked on the left field line, that's going to be a base hit. Peralta will field and get it in quickly, but Adam Frazier, two for two, with a pair of singles here tonight. And that'll bring up Gio Urshela, who's back-breaking three-run bomb in the second. Really kind of busted this one open. Now it's 5 nothing Yankees, as this one hit towards left center field, and it is going to fall in for a base hit. Frazier got held up. He didn't know he will be safe at second. He just gets in there. He thought it might have been caught, so a base hit for Gio. I mean, Dark Stroke, he's a backup catcher. He's a backup catcher. You're not, you're not going to get much more than that out of a backup catcher. And he had two. He went two for four tonight. He went two for four. He had a two RBI double and a, and a single that uh, they didn't end up scoring him, but he went two for four tonight, you know? Like, Plus, the pitchers like to throw to him more than Sanchez. They feel more comfortable with Higashioka behind the plate. I'm doing all right, Phase Road. We are surviving, man. We had a rough start to the stream as my computer crashed like 10 minutes in. But we are here and we are thriving, brother. Maybe Dark Stroke, maybe. But I think we need to find a new starting catcher. Never mind a backup catcher. Got to get rid of Sanchez before we get rid of Higashioka. It'll be an 0-2 to Pollock. Grounded foul stays alive. So average speed at second, bad speed at first. Good speed at the plate in the form of Pollock. Takes one inside now, one and two. So a double by Hicks, a single by Voigt. And then a fielder's choice, a single, and a three-run bomb by Geo. As this one up the middle could be two. The flip to second for one. On the first, it's a 6-4-3. Inning-ending double play. And then this inning, Luke Voigt got a hold of another one. His first home run of the playoffs. And the Yankees are up 5-0, going bottom four. 
This is the playoffs. We're going for the sweep. We're up 2-0 in the ALDS phase. This is the playoffs. We won the first game 3-0. We won the second game uh, 6-4. And now we're up 5-0. Yeah, Shadow Boy. The Cardinals are on a roll, man. Cardinals on a roll. As there's a strike going one. Yeah, he had the big home run that busted an open dark stroke today. That's fair. But he's a liability behind the plate. As this is grounded to the left side because of the shift, Frazier there fires the first one quick out here in the bottom of the fourth for Severino. And that two, Sanchez is only hitting what, 205? 210? Yes, he will occasionally hit a home run. But let's be real, he's a liability. Thank you, FaZe, I appreciate that as that's fouled off 0-1. As that misses just outside 1-1. I think it's 11 in a row now, Shadow. Yeah, I think you're right. 11 in a row. They're going to win the wild card for sure. As that swung on a miss by Rendon, 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike 3. And for the first time since his first at-bat of Game 1, Rendon was, went 7 for 7 after, going, oh, after that first at-bat. Now he's a... Seven for nine as the Yankees finally retire him with a strikeout. Two away, and that brings up Peralta. First pitch swinging, popped up behind the plate. Real Muto makes the catch and foul ground, and we go top five, up by five. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I would try to trade Sanchez, honestly, and call up the kid, what's his, Austin Wells or whatever, as uh, the 0-2 to LeMahieu, or excuse me, to LeMahieu 0 for 2. Takes one inside, 1-0. and As Taylor Cole and Patrick Sandoval, who pitched a, a, a scoreless inning in game two, starts to warm here in the top of the fifth. As this one fouled back out of play, 1-1. One one. The Cardinals? Yeah, I don't think the Cardinals are going to win the World Series. I know they're red hot right now, but I just can't see them beating the Giants or the Dodgers. Could they upset? Could they? Well, I mean, that's the thing. I don't see them getting past the wild card. As this is fouled off to the right side. I think the Dodgers win in the wild card. Wild card game. And then whoever wins the Giants-Dodgers series faces the Brewers in the NLCS. And I think that uh, I think that winner wins the World Series. No, FaZe, no. Judge is not an MVP candidate. Not at all. Not even close. Vlad, Vlad Jr., Honestly, look at just look at the Blue Jays lineup. Vlad Jr., Marcus Semien. You have all these 40 home runs. I would look at, I mean, the Royals are terrible. But look at what Sal Perez is doing in Kansas City, setting the record, all-time single-season home run record for a catcher. No, Aaron Judge isn't even close to sniffing the MVP this year. As this one hammered to right field fairly deep, but the catch is made by Canna, one away. Yeah, Dark Stroke. I think they should call up Wells, honestly, and let him be the catcher because I'm done with Sanchez. Aaron Judge 0 for 2. Fouls off a hanging slider. Just missed it. 0 and 1. Out in front of it. It'll be a 0 1 to Aaron. Swing and a miss late on a fastball 0 and 2. For the Cy Young? I mean, Robbie Ray is up there for the American League. Cole is up there. Swing and a miss, strike three, two away. That last start against Cleveland did not help Cole uh, at all. I mean, the National League, you look at guys like Bueller. You look at guys like... Um, I'm trying to think. Is that foul back out of play? 0-1. Oh you look at guys like, you know, the guys in Milwaukee, right? Peralta and Burns and all that. Sure, he's had some huge at-bats, but he's not... Just because he's had some big at-bats doesn't mean he's an MVP candidate. You can say that a lot of guys on a lot of teams. He's a 280 hitter with 30 home runs compared to a guy hitting 20, 323 with 46 home runs. Like, come on. I don't know about... I don't think he's eliminated from the conversation, Darkstroke, but he really hurt himself as DD Skies won the right center field. Trout, though, has a beat on it, settles underneath it, and makes the catch as we go bottom five. Yankees still up 5 nothing. 
I'm mean, actually Bueller hurt himself also last start, I think. Um, obviously, you're going to look at some Giants. You're going to look at Gossman. You're going to look at uh, Descalfini. I got to look at. I don't know their specific numbers off the top of my head. I'd have to look, but. Just look at the winners. You want to talk about Cy Young candidates? Look at the winners. <laughs> Is that Mrs. Inside? I want to know. In terms of, like, winning teams, I mean, not wins and losses. Although that helps. As this one popped up now, got under the changeup, Real Muto finds it near the top of the A, makes the catch, one away. And now that should bring up Jared Walsh. That misses high, 1-0. Oh. Yeah, I know, the, what was it, 10 straight strikeouts to start the game? I know, Shadow, I was rooting for him too, man. That misses inside, 2-0. Now swing and a miss on a change up two and one. Severino only 51 pitches through four and a third as that's now two and two to Walsh. Foul back and out of play. Slider misses inside and Walsh doesn't chase. Three and two. Now another foul ball there. Off of the fastball. Now this one, little dribbler to first. Tough play. Voigt will field. Flip to Severino. Covering two away. Nice job there by Sevy to get to the bag. As Mark Canna, one for one with a double, was stranded at second back in the third. Takes a strike on the inside part of the plate, 0-1. The 0-1 uh, Little dribbler now to the left side. Tough play. Geo charges. Fields fires the first and got him by a stride. We go top six. Another one, two, three inning for Severino. Yankees up 5 nothing. Get dark stroke. Don't get me started. Honestly, the whole season might come down to this Sunday against Atlanta. If the, Yan if the Giants don't beat Atlanta, the season's already over. No bother to watch. As uh, Aaron Hicks, one for two with a double and a run scored. Steps up to the plate against Sleggers. Chases an outside. Or actually, there's a good sinker there over the corner. But swings and misses 0-1. As now Tony Watson and Alex Claudio get up in the pen. And credit where it's due. Sleggers so far 2-2 two and two thirds. Only gave up the one run, the solo home run to Voigt. As uh, Hicks fouls this off in the left field line. Trying to go opposite field because of the shift. But now 0-2. Oh the 0-2. Uh, oh Pop foul and out of play. Still 0-2. Oh Good inside slider. Now this one chopped to the left side. Tough play there for Rendon. Deep in the hole. The hop throw won't get him. Hicks is too fast. An infield single for Aaron here. The lead off the six. Well, of course he is. Dark Shoke, he, he learned under Belichick. Of course he wants to be Bill Belichick. Luke Voigt, two for two. An RBI single and a solo home run. Hammers this one foul, 0-1. Oh It'll be an 0-1 oh to Voigt inside. A fastball that just kind of, almost kind of knuckled up there. 1-1. One one. Hicks off first, above average speed. Voigt very slow at the plate, so is a double play candidate as well as he fouls that off 1-2. and two. As this one chopped foul, Voigt stays alive, still one and two. A dark stroke, no, you're fired. Jason Garrett should be fired before even Joe Judge. Honestly, Jason Garrett is horrendous. He's a horrendous play caller. As this one ripped to right center field, it's a base hit. And it's going to roll all the way to the wall. They're going to wave Hicks home. Voigt's in the second with a double, and Hicks scores the sixth. Yankee run! Luke Voigt delivers a two-bagger! And it's 6-0 Yankees! An opposite field double for Voigt. Hicks saw it the whole way and was off to the races! Jason Garrett should be fired first, Darkstroke. His playbook is too old. He's stupid and doesn't know what he's doing. As JT Realmuto now with the plate, he's 0 for 2. Swinging a miss on a sinker there, 0 and 1. 
Yeah, and Jason Garrett, I don't think he's ever won a playoff game in his life, Darkstroke. So, Real Muto 0 for 2 with a ground out and a fielder's choice came around to score. Hot take that I've had about this year. I don't know if it's a hot take, but maybe Matt, maybe that maybe Manfred should never have, I don't know, de-juiced the baseballs or whatever it is. As that's grounded back to the pitcher, Voigt stays put at second, one away. And that brings up Adam Frazier now, two for two, a pair of singles, a run scored, hitting 625 here in the ALDS. I don't know that maybe we should fire all the umpires and turn them into be, replace them with computers. As goodbye baseball, Adam Frazier right down the right field line, his third home run of the series, a two-run bomb. And if it wasn't official before, it is now. This game has been busted wide open. Down goes Frazier. Downtown, that is. And it's 8 nothing Yankees. Oh, my goodness. They are pouring it on, looking to finish a sweep here in Anaheim. Because Mike McCarthy's the same man. He's out of touch. He doesn't know what he's doing anymore. As Taylor Cole comes on now. One hitter too late. Is 30, he had 34 regular season appearances with an ERA just under 7. The righty will face Gio Urshela, who's 2-for-2 two two with a single and a 3-run home run. And Gio! Did he get another one? This one to deep left! Back goes Peralta! It's gone! Goodbye, baseball! Gio Urshela! A geothermal nuclear blast! His second of the evening! It's 9 nothing Yankees as they go back to back and belly to belly! Yeah, Dark Shook, I don't want Mike McCarthy. Again, I think he's out of touch. AJ Pollock now 0 for 2, takes one outside, 1 and 0. Well, it looks like the Angels absolutely rolled over here in Game 3. Yeah, Shadow, I mean, I think uh, I think you have a good coach now, but I think you have a, a toxic quarterback. <laughs> I think it's time. I think it's... you. Guys, I don't think... I know offense. I don't think you guys are doing anything this year. I'm curious to see what happens with Jordan Love next year. Is that misses high? 3-1 and one to Pollock. Fastball, changeup, slider, curveball pitcher is Cole. And that misses ball four. So Pollock draws the walk. Who asked me about taking pitches before? There's your walk. <laughs> I don't think anybody like... I think Rogers really hurt his reputation, honestly, as uh, DJ LeMayhew, 0 for 3, steps up to the plate now. And smacks this one foul in the right field line. 0 and 1. Check over on Pollock. He's not going anywhere. Up 9 nothing. We're not stealing a bag. Pollock would be one of the guys to do it. He does have a few steals on the year. A couple as a Yankee. Definitely above average speed. Yo, one swing and a miss on a high fastball. 0-2. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's time. It's the Jordan Love era. It's time. As this one smacked to the right side, could be two. The flip to second for one. Iglesias to first. A 4-6-3 inning ending double play. But the Yankees score three more. Off the bats of Adam Frazier and Gio Urshela. We go bottom six. Nine nothing Yankees. I don't think he's I don't think he's doing that necessarily, Dark Stroke. He did carve up the Lions, but it's also the Lions. So And you gotta remember, they're just his contract is up at the end of the year. Like. As this one punched to the right side, Voigt is there. Will take it himself. One away. Dude wants to get paid. I don't even know if the Broncos will take him, though. As Teddy Bridgewater looking real good so far. I know he's only beaten the Giants and the Jaguars, but still. As that misses load, one and one. Now, a little dribbler in front of home plate. Real Muto will field. Pirouette fire to first. In time, two away. 
And now that will bring up Iglesias. As he fouls this off on the right field line, 0 oh and 1. So that misses outside, 1 and 1. Slider that slid a little too much. Now a fastball, again punched foul, late on it, 1 and 2. I mean, sure, Rodgers is better than Teddy, but Teddy's a winner, man. People forget how good he was until he hurt his knees as this one up the middle and threw for a base hit. Hicks will get it in, but it's a two-out single. A shadow, I agree, the Giants' offensive line is horrendous, and I think it's a big part of the reason why we're as bad as we are. Uh, you know, I don't know, FaZe, I don't know. It's either the Twins or the Astros. Astros were up 2-1 in their uh, DS, as swing and a miss there. 0-2 oh, to Trout. And now this one grounded the third. Geo there on a short hop. Fires the first in time. And despite the single, the Angels get nothing else. We go top seven. Severino mowing them down. Yankees up 9-0 on the verge of sweeping the Angels out of the first round. Yeah, I know, Dark Stroke. Trust me, they should have took that kid for Sean Slater when they had the chance instead of letting him go to the Chargers. Swing and a miss, Owen, because that guy, because Kadarius Tony looks like an absolute bust, just like I said he would be. He looks, he looks terrible. Foul back in a play, Owen, too. You know, Shadow, you know what I think it is? I think the Thursday night game that both defenses were very tired because of the short week. As that's grounded the first one away. Both defenses played very well on Sunday and then had a real quick turnaround. I think a lot of those guys were gassed. I honestly think on both sides of the both teams, honestly, as DD Gregorius. You know, DD's been having a real rough go of things. Uh, we're gonna put in Mike Talkman since DD's the DH. Let's get uh let's get some ABs here for some other guys in the playoffs. And Talkman fouls back a fastball 0 oh, 1. I'm gonna start putting the backups in up 9 0. As Talkman fouls that off 0 oh, 2. Yeah, FaZe, I mean, it's a great story, man. I hope he continues to do well. The Yankees need him. I still don't think he's a starter for the rest of his career. I really think he's a bullpen guy now. Make him a long reliever, maybe a spot starter. I just don't think his arm can hold up. Uh anymore as that misses inside two and two and honestly Chapman is unreliable I would turn Severino into a closer the 2-2 two -two swing and a miss strike three two away yeah no I, I knew what you meant though Shadow for sure so Jordan gets a dab And that brings up Aaron Hicks, who's two for three tonight with a single and a double and uh, two runs scored. Fouls off a curveball there, 0 and 1. Yeah, Dark Stroke, I've heard him and actually, what was it, Sewell in Detroit is playing okay. But yeah, the, we had Slater and we passed him what I thought was the best offensive tackle coming out of the draft last year. But what do I know? Oh, right. Definitely more than Gettleman. This is grounded to third. Rendon there. Actually towards short, but because of the shift, it's Rendon. And get up and stretch. We're going bottom seven. Yankees up 9 nothing. It was good to see, FaZe. It was. So Rendon, one for two with a single tonight. Severino's 70th pitch is popped up. Shallow right. Long run for Judge. And he gets there near the line for the first out of the inning. And that brings up David Peralta. He's one for two. Swings through a fastball there. 0 oh and 1. The 0 oh 1 to Peralta. Swing and a miss on a changeup. 0 oh and 2. You look there, aside from the second, where even then he only threw 15 pitches. Very economical night so far for Seve. As this one blooped towards right field. And because of the shift, LeMay, he will make the catch. And almost run into Aaron Hicks there for the second out of the inning. Normally, that would have fallen into the Bermuda Triangle. But because of the shift, LeMay, he was the one who runs it down. And so two away, Justin Upton up at the plate. He's 0 for 2, and he takes a strike on 1. The 0-1 from Seve. Skied to right. Judge is there. 
settles underneath it, and it's a six-pitch seventh inning for Severino. We go top eight. Yankees still up 9-0. Luke Voigt, a triple away from the cycle. He's homered, singled, and doubled. Voight, not fleet of foot, would need a little bit of luck as he fouls off a high fastball there from Cole 0-1. The 0-1 to Luke, fouled back and out of play, 0-2. Actually, that'd be a fun stat. When was the last time somebody hit for the cycle in the playoffs? Did somebody Google that for me? As that's grounded to the left side, well, it ain't gonna be here. Iglesias there, fires the first, in time, one away. I'll Google it. No, I mean, I would have sent him anyway. Shadow, we're up by nine. It's the ideal situation as Real Muto swings through one. Oh, and one. Now it takes one outside. One and one. The only, so the only person, is that Mrs. Lowe? Two and when the only person to hit for the playoff cycle, if I read that correctly, is Brock Holt against the Yankees as part of a Red as part of the Red Sox. It'll be a three-one to JT. Right down the middle and off of Cole. Real Muto should reach first. He does. Too fast, and he beats it out for an infield single. It brings up Adam Frazier, three for three tonight, two singles and a home run. That misses inside one and oh. Uh, I think the Rams are a little over, a uh, little overrated there. Chiefs, I could see, but until somebody, until the, until the, to be the champ, you have to beat the champ, and until someone beats the Bucks, I they are still the favorite. As that misses low, two and zero. Oh. Had a moment yet where I what the where I what the pitcher shadow. As this one grounded to the right side. The, Fletcher to Iglesias for one on the first. It's an inning ending 4-6-3 double play. Yeah, the only person that ever hit for the cycle in baseball history is Brock Holt for the Red Sox against the Yankees. Where I domed the, like... Oh, you know, I did it last year, and that'll be the show 20. I have not done it yet, and that'll be the show 21. Not yet. It is annoying. That is true. As that one misses just outside the wall. Severino's still out there. Yankees win this game. They're going to have plenty of time off for him to recover. So he might be going the distance. Swing and a miss, one and one. I mean, you can believe that all you want, but the Rams barely beat the Colts last week. The Bucks haven't really been tested either, as this one hit popped up to left. Pollock makes the catch one away. But again, you can make any argument you want. Until someone beats the Bucks, in order to be the man, you have to beat the man. Just I mean, beating somebody in the regular season means nothing. You gotta do it in the playoffs. You gotta dethrone the champ, as that's grounded to the left side. Frazier there. Fires the first high throw. Good stretch two away. And if anybody says the Bucks aren't making the playoffs, you're out of your mind. If they stay healthy. If they stay healthy. Kurt Suzuki takes a strike on the inside black 0-1. Again, that's the one real variable you can never predict in football. One bad injury could, could change, derail an entire season. Yeah, yeah, FaZe, I remember. 
Uh, I mean, I don't disagree, Shadow. I don't think the Packers are getting there either. Honestly, I think your division for the first time in a long time is wide open. Swing and a miss there, two and two. Um, I mean, I think almost by default the Packers win the division, but they are nowhere near as good as they were last year. And that and that last year they were only they were good. They weren't great. Swing and a miss, strike three. We go top nine. Yankees up by nine. Gio Urshela, three for three. As Gio fouls off a fastball, 0 and 1. Two, sing two home runs and a single for Gio. Well, and that's the thing. And now without Rodgers, I don't think Rodgers is going to be playing his best ball this year. The Packers are going to not do as well. But they also have a very soft division. The Lions suck. The Vikings are meh. The Bears are meh. Right? They could be. The Packers could win nine games and win that division. A lot of teams, people make fun of the NFC East, but uh, the NFC North ain't much better. Swing and a miss, strike three, one away here in the ninth. I think that's fair, Phase Chiefs, Bucks, and Bills, I think that's fair. And don't count out the Cleveland Browns. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I think the Browns are going to be there at the end, too. I agree, Shadow. I think Fields has to keep sitting, and I think that's the plan in Chicago. So A.J. Pollock now, 0 for 2 with a walk. Chase is one out of the zone, 0 and 1. It'll be a 0 1 to AJ. Swing and a miss on a fastball, 0 and 2. It'll be an 0 2 high, 1 and 2. I mean, the Browns O line is legit, for sure. There's no doubt about it. The 1 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Suzuki will fire to first in time, two away. Brings up LeMahieu, who has not played terrific. So we're going to give him a... DJ's going to get the rest of the night off. And Kevin Vizcayano, the rookie, is going to get an A-B. Who's their quarterback phase? I think the Colts are done. They already said it. What is it? Wentz sprained both his ankles last week. That's how they're going to play 0-1. Foles is, the, is a great backup. He is not a starter. As, oh, Vizcayeno smacks it off a of goal. He recovers, fires the first. Not in time. The rookie gets an infield single, and Cole is getting turned into a punching bag. That's the second time tonight that's happened. As now Judge up the middle. That'll be flipped to first in time, and that'll end the inning. So the rookie gets himself his first career single. In the playoffs, I should have put Vizcaino in for, or uh, Dominguez in for Judge, but we go bottom nine, nine nothing Yankees. Actually, Dominguez yet, so. Vizcaino and Frazier. Frazier will go to his natural second base position. Vizcaino moves to short. Colts have a good offense outside of quarterback. I think there's a lot of question marks still around Wentz as Luis Severino looking for a complete game shutout. There's a strike on one. Severino now has not given up a run in 17 straight innings. He pitched a complete game shutout against Toronto and now looking for one here against Anaheim as Judge comes up firing a leadoff single here in the bottom of the ninth. Now to bring up Jose Iglesias, who's one for three. Takes a strike at the top of the zone. 0-1. And, and now this one blooped into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. They're going to try and go first to third, and he does. So Fletcher moves to third. I think he's. I think he might be done. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the, Jets, the Jets are terrible. That's the reason why... Uh, Darnold's having a, gonna have a renaissance down in Carolina. He already is. So Zach Britton starting to warm for the Yankees. As Mike Trout 0 for 3 takes a strike 0 and 1. Now 1 misses 1 high, 1 and 1. Sevy is gassed. That misses low, two and one. Yes, it'll carry over, Phase. It'll carry over. The two, one. Hammered to right. This should get a run in. So the shutout will go by the wayside. 
Judge makes the catch, tagging and coming home and scoring is Fletcher. So the Angels save a little bit of pride as they break the shutout up. It's 9-1. to one. Yeah, no, Shadow, for sure. That offensive line is just as bad as the Giants. So yeah, this will be this will be Severino's last hitter, no matter what. Rendon one for three tonight with a single, takes a strike, zero and one. Misses inside, one and one. Yeah, the O line is embarrassing for the Jets. Absolutely, absolutely. So that misses outside, two and one. This one chopped foul, two and two. Rendon helping Severino out there. Now this one punched through the right side. That'll be a base hit. So runners at first and second now. And that is going to do it for Severino. Bishop Sycamore. That's funny. That is funny, Shadow. So Severino, 100 pitches. Didn't have enough gas to get through the ninth. Zach Britton will come in to try and get the last two outs here. But credit where it's due. 17 and a third straight shutout innings before giving up that sack fly to Trout. And in comes Zach Britton to try and seal the deal against a couple of lefties here coming up for the Angels. I've not heard any news about anybody being picked up. Uh, I don't think anybody wants anything to do with Cam Newton at this point. His career is probably over. Yeah, I still can't believe ESPN fell for that too, uh, Shadow. But... Um, I haven't heard anything about girl either. Careers are probably over. Welcome back, Odoms. We're uh, we're in the ninth. Britain on to try and seal the deal here. So Peralta one for three. Takes it. Ooh, they call it a ball. One and oh, sure looked like a strike to me. There's a strike at the knees. One and one. Runners at first and second. 9-1 Yankees as that's fouled off 1-2. and two. The 1-2 just outside. 2-2. Two and two. Now a slider just got a piece of it to Peralta to stay alive. Still 2-2. Two and, two. and now this one skied the left center field and deep. But it's going to hang up there for Hicks to get to the track and make the catch. The runners go back and tag but everybody stays put. So two away now in the ninth, and the last hope for the Angels season is Justin Upton. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. Now a strike right down Broadway, 0 and 2. Uh, it's too early to tell if two is a bust. But they sure look terrible this week against the Bills. The 1 2 now as that slider misses. Pop foul now, another one tried to jam him in the hands, 1 and 2. Three straight sliders, three straight foul ball. Well, two about foul balls and a and a take. The one two again in the dirt, blocked by Real Muto. Everybody stays put. Two and two. Swing and a miss. He chases the high fastball for strike three. The Yankees finish off the sweep here in Anaheim with a nine-one win. The Yankees win. The Yankees win and head to the ALCS where they have to wait and see if they will face either the Houston Astros or the Minnesota Twins. The Yankees absolutely clobbered the Angels. They won the first game 3-0, game 2-6-4, and then came to Anaheim and steamrolled the Angels 9-1. Severino, 8 a third innings pitched, one run. Gio Urshela, three for four with two home runs. Your player of the game, Shohei Otani, gets rocked. And the Yankees are winners and advance to the next round. Odom's too early to call Zach Wilson a bust behind a terrible Jets offensive line. Hey, we got a pack wall open later.
So what do we got here? Oh, Minnesota's the one up 2-1. Yankees versus Twins in the ALCS. Oh, and look at that. The Mets knocked off the Dodgers. What? The Braves versus the Mets in the NLCS. It's all right, Shadow. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. So let's save the game real quick. As the LCSs have been set. Braves and Mets, Yankees and Twins. We got some interesting possible matchups here. Twins versus Braves would be a very interesting World Series. Mets and Yankees, obviously. Yankees and Braves have a lot of history. So, Kenta Maeda versus... It's not going to be Jamison Tyon. That, that's stupid. It's going to be Garrett Cole, obviously. The Yankees are more than well-rested. So, Garrett Cole... Everybody except for Severino, who should be rested by the time his next go-around goes. Garrett Cole will get the start against Maeda, who's 0-0 in the... Doesn't have a record in the, in the uh, playoffs, but it's a 7-2 ERA. Didi Gregorius, 0 for 10 in the first round, looking to turn things around. Probably your MVP of that first round, though, is Aaron Hicks or, or Adam Frazier. Take your pick. Couple of bats there. It'll be the usual... Wow, the Mets are already up 2-0 in the ALC or the NLCS. The Mets are already up 2-0 as we get ready to play game one of the American League Championship Series at Yankee Stadium. Welcome to the Bronx in beautiful New York City. As the Minnesota Twins visit their hated rivals, the New York Yankees. Why are they so hated? Because the Twins never beat the Yankees. Knock on wood. Garrett Cole pitched a six shutout innings in game one against the Angels. He would look to replicate that here tonight. Former Yankee prospect there, Jake Cave in the dugout, dancing. Yankees look nervous. Maybe Odoms, maybe. Kenta Maeda there warming in the pen. As is Garrett Cole, your Game 1 starters. As Game 1 is getting to get underway. Cole, 1-0 in the postseason. Three hits, three walks, and even one whip. Eight strikeouts. Yeah, it's weird, Shadow. I don't get it either. Angleton Simmons, a 333 average. No home runs, one RBI in the first round. Takes a strike on the inside. Black 0-1 Simmons. 8 for 23 against Cole with a home run. Rare to see numbers that good against Garrett Cole, but Simmons just sees the ball well against, against them, I guess, as that misses outside 1-1. One one. Could be shutout first time since 2000 if that happens. The 1-1 one, one to Simmons. Hammered foul out in front of a changeup, 1-2. and two. The 1-2 now. Chop to the first baseman, Voigt. He is there. Will take it himself. One away. Nice block there by Voigt staying in front of that roller. So you look at the Twins starting lineup. We just saw Simmons grounded out, followed by Luis Arias. Jorge Polanco's your DH. Reese Hoskins at first. McCutcheon in left. Kepler in right. Donaldson at third. Cave is your center fielder. And Mitch Garver batting ninth behind the plate. As Arias, one for 11 thus far in the playoffs, steps up to the box. Steps into the box, I should say. That's fouled back and out of play. 0-1. It'll be an 0-1 to Arias. Low 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one, little low again. Arias holds 2-1. That's funny, Shadow. I, I had not heard that, but I hear, did hear that there are a lot of teams that, yeah, 
Like, uh, even the Rangers, right? The Rangers, Russell Wilson, because of that, has more Super Bowl wins than the Rangers have World Series. It'll be a 2-2 to Arias as he took that slider for a strike. And now blows the fastball by him at 99. Strike three, two away here in the first. Jorge Polanco now, one homer, three RBIs, a 375 average. The Twins dispatched of the Astros in four games. The Yankees swept the Angels. Both teams rested as that misses just outside. 1-0 to Polanco. And now a slider popped up to right center field. Hicks racing over, makes the catch. And Cole has a 1-2-3 first. We go bottom one in the Bronx. No score here in game one of the 2021 ALCS as Kenta Maeda makes a start. He gave up uh, probably what's about five, maybe four, four runs in five innings at ERA. Got a no decision in his one start. Seven hits, three walks, three strikeouts. DJ LeMayhew. Hitting a buck 67 in the playoffs thus far. Maeda, a slider, splitter, fastball, sinker, curveball. He throws the kitchen sink. The first pitch just fouled back and out of play 0 1. LeMayhew a little out in front. 5 for 25 with five strikeouts against Maeda. The 0 1 swing and a miss on a slider 0 and 2. The 0-2 outside, 1-2 and two, as LeMahieu lays off. Maeda does not throw nearly as hard as he used to, but he'll still top out about 93-94 on the gun with his harder stuff as this is chopped foul. Three straight sliders to DJ. The 1-2, swing and a miss, got him on the splitter that time, one away. So LeMahieu's struggles continue, and that brings up Aaron Judge. Hitting a buck 54 thus far in the postseason. No homers, no RBIs. Swing and a miss there on a fastball, 0 and 1. You know, the top of the Yankee lineup have really not been doing it. It's been the rest of the lineup, which has kind of made up for it. You don't feel about making any changes yet because you obviously you played three playoff games, you're 3 and 0. It's judged late on that sinker, the power sinker from AA to 0 and 2. But if uh, things don't start to turn, you have to figure somebody's going to get a ben get benched at some point. Especially Didi, who's 0 for 10. The 1-2. Little dribbler back to the mound. Kent the Fields flips nonchalantly the first. In time, two away. We look now at the Yankee lineup. We saw LeMahieu and Judge followed by Didi Gregorius. And then look at the rest of the lineup. Look at that. Fourth through eight. Everybody's above 300. Nine through three, everybody's below 200. So there you go. But Hick, uh, after Didi is Hicks, Voight, Real Muto, Frazier, Urshela, and Pollock. Didi Gregorius, your DH now up at the plate. Swing and a miss on a good splitter there. 0 oh, and 1. Didi really pressing here now in the playoffs. Really wants to get that first hit and get off the schneid. The 0 oh, 1 swing and a miss, another splitter. 0 oh, and 2 after having a being shut out. Again, 0 for 10 against the Angels. The 0-2. Little dribbler to first. Taken there by Hopkins or Hoskins, and that'll retire the side. So the Yankees, like the Twins, go 1-2-3. And we go top two. No score in the Bronx. As Reese Hoskins, the man who forced that got that last put out, will lead off here. Chops this foul 0-1. Shadow, I would like to beat Minnesota as well. <laughs> The 0-1 sails outside, and Hoskins lays off 1-1. Of course, Hoskins and McCutcheon came over from Philadelphia for Byron Buxton uh, at the trade deadline. Blockbuster trade. They're actually before the trade deadline. Is, that misses low 2-1. and one. It was more like June, but still. A blockbuster trade that completely changed the look of this Minnesota Twins team as that swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. Another good slider there from Cole. The 2-2, two, two, low, and in, uh, low and outside. 3-2, and two, McCutcheon on deck. The 3-2 inside. We saw this issue in game one against the Angels. Cole trying to nibble, and it's uh, led to more walks than usual as McCutcheon, that misses inside 1-0. Oh. 
McCutcheon two for nine in his career against Cole with a couple strikeouts. Takes a strike there, 0 and 1. Now a strike with the slider, 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, got him to chase the curve in the dirt, 1 away. Now that brings up Max Kepler, hitting only a 0 67 in the playoffs. He takes a strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 1. Checks his swing, but goes around, says the umpire on the low slider, 0 and 2. Now a curveball low. A lot of hitters know that Cole likes to try to get guys to chase, and they haven't been chasing. But Kepler chases the fastball there, strike three, two away. Back-to-back -back Ks. Here for Cole. Yeah, I mean, Cub, I mean the Cubs just aren't good, man, anymore. As uh, Josh Donaldson now takes one high, one and zero. Oh. Again, the fact that Donaldson is batting seventh in this lineup shows what the acquisition of McCutcheon and Hoskins did. Is this is popped up on the infield? Luke Voigt is there and makes the catch. That ball kind of circled around for a while, but Voigt makes the catch. And despite the leadoff walk, the Twins get nothing else. We go bottom two, no score in the Bronx. As Aaron Hicks. Hitting 455, three homers, four RBIs, leads off here in the bottom of the second. They play Hicks to pull. Chops it to the right side as he does pull. The wind is carrying to right, by the way. Araya is there, gets Hicks by a stride because of the shift, one away. As we look now at the Twins' defense, McCutcheon in left, Cave a good center fielder, Kepler good in right, very solid outfield all around, as is the infield. Donaldson not as quick as he once was, but still solid at third. Simmons at short, Arias at second. Hoskins a very good first baseman, and Garber behind the plate. That brings up Luke Voigt now hitting 400 in the playoffs. Chases an outside slider, 0 and 1. Voigt, one home run, three RBIs, two of those coming in the uh, last game against the Angels. I like it, FaZe, at least for the commentary stuff, as this has popped up, shallow right, Hoskins going back, the only man on the right side of the infield makes the catch, two away. Now that brings up JT Real Muto hitting 300 with a pair of solo home runs. Maeda's only thrown three pitches this inning, he is mowing the Yankees down here as uh, Real Muto just misses that slider, 0-1. Four for 11 in his career against Kenta. With a couple of home runs. As swings and misses there on a slider. 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. Low and almost in the dirt. 1-2. Take care, Sh Shadow. Have a good one, buddy. <laughs> More typos. I'm sorry. It's all right. Misses inside the real Muto now. 2-2. Two and two. Called strike three, backdoor slider, just catches the inside black. Real Muto down looking. And we go top three, still no score as Jake Cave, former Yankee farmhand. Luis Hill came over for Jake Cave in a trade several years ago. Takes a strike at the belt, 0 and 1. Cave hitting 308 here in the playoffs. Takes it outside, 1 and 1. It is a good laugh, it's fun, it's fun. So, it's all in good fun. The 1-1 one, one from Cole. Hanging slider. But Cave out in front of it and hammers it foul. 1-2. and two. Got away with one there. The 1-2 to Cave. Fouled back and out of play. Just got a piece of that two-seamer. Still 1-2. and two. Cole pretty efficient himself. This is only his 32nd pitch. As Cave takes the knuckle curve low. 2-2. Two and two. Now this one lined right at DJ LeMayhew because of the shift, one away. Brings up Mitch Garver hitting 200 with a solo home run here in the playoffs. He takes the strike up and in, 0-1. Yeah, Andrew, I think the Padres are done, buddy. Like we were saying before, I, uh, I think the Cardinals are going to win that second wild card pretty easily now in the National League as that misses high, 1-0. Game one of the ALCS. Yankees swept the Angels. Twins took three of four from Houston. As that misses outside, two and one. Now a hanging slider fouled off at the plate, two and two. 
Mitch Garber's eyes lit up, and he tried to knock it out of the park, but instead he just drove it into the dirt. And now Chase is, speaking of in the dirt, one in the dirt. Real Muto throws the first to complete the play. Two away here in the third. Four Ks for Cole, as that brings up Simmons, who grounded out the first in his first at-bat. Ooh, the umpire does not give Cole the call there. That should be updated to eight for 24 after that ground out. Now swinging a miss on an inside fastball, one and one. Looked like Cole went to the two-seamer. Now swinging a miss on a slider, one and two. Cole trying to have another one, two, three inning. And he does as the slider freezes Simmons. Caught him looking. We go bottom three. No score in the Bronx. As leading things off is Adam Frazier. Hitting 600 with three homers and four RBIs. Well, three out of four, because it was a five-game series. Remember, the first round phase is a best of five. So they took three of four from Houston. So Frazier leads off here against Maeda. Fouls off a sl inside slider, 0-1. Oh, Frazier, one for eight in his career against Kenta Maeda with, a, with that one being a home run. And he was right on that slider, but it was too far in. The 0-1 sails outside, 1-1. One and one. Adam Frazier's first career playoff action. The 1-1, hammered to right center field. Goodbye, baseball! Into the Yankee bullpen, his fourth of the playoffs. He now has two career home runs against Maeda. Down goes Frazier, downtown that is. That one dedicated to FaZe Road. Oh, what a shot by Adam Frazier. And the Yankees go up one nothing here in the third. Gio Urshela now up. Hitting 300, and Gio, did he get enough of this one? Going back, still back at the track, it's gone! The Yankees go back to back and belly to belly here in game one of the ALCS, and it's 2-0 New York. A geothermal nuclear blast from Urshela. Holy cow, these, in these playoffs, these two look like a new bunch of Bass Brothers. Frazier, and then Geo. It's 2 nothing Yankees. A wall scraper, but it counts all the same as now A.J. Pollock up. One for nine in the playoffs with a walk and a solo home run. Swings and misses there, 0-1. Oh the 0-1 oh to Pollock popped him up. Just missed that curveball. Arias behind second base, makes the catch in the lift of the outfield grass for the first out of the inning. It's all right, Andrew. You'll win the wild card game. It'll be okay. There you go, FaZe. There you go. So DJ LeMayu now up with one out and no one on. Yankees up 2-0 against the Twins here in game one of the ALCS. And DJ LeMayu skies won the left center field. Fairly deep but playable. Cave is there, makes the catch two away. And now that brings up Aaron Judge again. The four through eight hitters are dominating. The nine through three hitters, not so much. Swing and a miss there by Judge, 0 oh and 1. The 0-1 to Aaron, this is outside, 1-1. One one. As Maeda, still very efficient. This will be only his 30th pitch of the game. Swing and a miss by Aaron, 1-2. and two. And this will only be his 11th pitch of the inning. The 1-2, chopped foul, stays alive, still 1-2. and two. Yeah, he's been real good in the playoffs for me, Faze, not gonna lie. Looking at that dish that they call an MVP trophy for the playoffs. As that misses high, two and two to judge. Count evens up. The 2-2. Two -two, chopped to the right side. Good curveball there from Maeda. Arias flips to first.
gets judged by Clunny, and that'll end the inning. But the Yankees strike first here in game one of the ALCS. Back-to-back -back solo home runs for Adam Frazier and Gio Urshela. We go top four. It's 2-0 Yankees. Luis Arias, 0-for-1, will now face Garrett Cole. Takes the strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-1. Cole wheeling and dealing. Only giving up a walk so far as that misses low and outside, one and one. Now this chopped foul, one and two. The one-two pitch in the dirt. Arias lays off two and two. Yep, he was a good it was a good trade for him, FaZe. I was very happy I acquired him. As this is fouled back and out of play. He tried to get the fastball by him. But Arias gets a piece, still two and two. Throws him with the changeup on the outside part of the plate. Strike three, looking six Ks for Cole. One gone here in the fourth. Brings up the DH, Jorge Polanco. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Takes one high and outside, 1 and 0. 50th pitch of the evening for Cole. Is hammered foul, or more like chopped foul, but still one and one. Good inside slider. Now a change up, popped up to right. Judge taking a couple steps back, but had it played almost perfectly. Makes the catch now for two away. Again, the ball's carrying the right, so no surprise Judge had to back up a little bit. As Reese Hoskins, he was the walk back in the second and still the only twin base runner. I would call up the rookie Austin Wells phase. I would call up the kid. I would see what the kid can do. He's supposed to be one of our top prospects. Let's go. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Oh Andrew, it all depends on where it's played. If the Yankees have to go to Fenway, no. If the Red Sox have to go to Yankee Stadium, yes. It's literally, I think it's going to be whoever has home field. That's literally going to be the that's what that decides the wild card game. If it's those two teams. As this is chopped foul, 0-2. Oh, Actually, I'll, think, I'll say that about every team. Even if it's the Blue Jays and Yankees or Blue Jays and Red Sox, whoever has home field is winning the wild card game as Hoskins fouls it back out of play, 0-2 oh, still. That's my prediction for the American League. And then whoever wins that game is getting eliminated in the first round by the Rays. Another 0-2. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying, and that's why, Andrew, again, I think it's going to be a big deal where that game is being held. And what Chris Sale and what and, uh, Garrett Cole will show up as. Reese Hoskins making Cole work here. This will be the ninth pitch of the at-bat. Every pitch has been a strike, including that one. Still 0-2. Cole, that's really driving his pitch count up as he finally gets him on a changeup. To end the fourth, we go bottom four. Yankees up 2 nothing. Didi Gregorius 0 for 1 with the ground out. Swings and misses on a splitter there, 0 and 1. Yeah, FaZe, honestly. <laughs> we better just pummel him. <laughs> the 0-1, pop foul and out of play, 0-2, as Didi's struggles continue. It'll be an 0-2 from Maeda. Low in the dirt, 1-2, and two, as Didi lays off. And now swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, strike three. And Didi continues to be ice cold here in the playoffs. 0 for 12 now as Aaron Hicks, 0 for 1, steps up to the plate. Maeda's third strikeout of the day. The first pitch to Hicks is chopped foul. Good splitter there, 0 and 1. It'll be a 0 1 to Aaron inside, 1 and 1. Another Yankee, the Twins play to pole. 
Yeah, Chapman, I mean, it's one thing to close out the Rangers. It's another thing to close out the Red Sox. So that is rolled over to the second baseman, Arias. He fires the first two quick outs here in the fourth. And that brings up Luke Voigt, who popped up to his counterpart at first base in his first at-bat, if I remember correctly. So he fouls off a splitter there, just a little out in front. Oh, and one, or a little late, I guess. Well, I mean, phase, yeah. I mean, honestly, not even a, not even a just win the next six. If you sweep the Red Sox and Blue Jays, you're set. You don't even have to worry about that series against Tampa. But that's a tall order, my friend. That is a tall task ahead of them, especially in Boston and in Toronto, as that's going to miss one and two. It'll be a 1-2 to Luke. Chopped foul again, still 1-2. and two. Maeda averaging 11 pitches an inning. As Voigt late on that slider, hits the outside part of the plate. Strike three, Maeda gets his fourth K of the day, and we go top five. Yankees still up 2-0. Andrew McCutcheon, 0 for 1, leads off here. We got our work cut out for us. As uh, that's fouled off 0 and 1. And now a backdoor slider fouled off at the plate 0 and 2. Yeah, exactly, FaZe, exactly. Swing and a miss. Got him on another slider. Strike three, one away. Well, that's like I was saying earlier. I really think that the Yankees just got to win two out of three. You take two out of three from Boston and two out of three from Toronto, and I think we're fine. But you gotta you gotta win two out of every three. But yeah, if we sweep, then we don't even have to worry about the Tampa Bay series, really. But the Yankees gotta go six and three in their last nine if they want to make the playoffs. That's my prediction. As that's line to left, Pollock makes the catch two away. First pitch quick out there from Kepler, as that brings up Josh Donaldson. There's a strike right down Broadway. 0-1. Donaldson, 23 home runs in the regular season. Files off a slider there, 0-2. The Yankees just went 6-3 in their last nine. They need to do that again. They need to do the exact same thing again. Because Toronto is red hot, but they finally lost 2-3 to Tampa. As swing and a miss, Donaldson chases the knuckle curve out of the zone. We go bottom five. Yankees still up 2-0. As JT Real Muto will lead off here in the bottom of the fifth. He's 0 for 1. And slings over the top of that splitter. 0 and 1. Again, Maeda mowing along. Mowing him down, I should say. Moving along. There we go. I mixed up my words. Swing and a miss there. 0 and 2. The wind is carrying to right tonight. As this one hammered towards left, but Donaldson spears it from the sky and makes the catch on a hard line drive, one away. Real Muto gets robbed by Donaldson, and that brings up Adam Frazier, one for one with a solo home run. No, it's, exa it's, it's, it's a lot, Andrew, honestly, it is. It's why I really wish baseball expanded to what they did last year, which is eight teams make the playoffs, and that first round is a three-game series. So Frazier now two for nine in his career with a home run against Maeda, make it two for ten as he rolls this one over to Hoskins at first, takes it himself two away. And that'll bring up Gio Urshela, who homered in his last at-bat. The first pitch to Gio, swing and a miss on a low slider, 0-1. The only two hits of the ball game, a solo home run by Frazier and a solo home run by Gio. A swing and a miss there, 0-2. The only man left on base, Hoskins drew a, a leadoff walk in the second inning and he was left there. The 0-2, smack to the right side and, oh, knocked down by Arias from his knees. The Twins showing off some gold glove defense that inning as JT Real Muto and Gio Urshela both robbed of base hits. One by Donaldson, and now Gio by Arias. And we go top six, still 2 nothing Yankees. So think about that. Three base runners through five full innings as Garrett Cole's 70th pitch of the day is fouled back and out of play by Jake Cave, 0-1. 
I thought that was ticketed for right for sure, but Araya's laid out, kept it on the infield, and Gio is not fleet of foot. He got up, fired to first, and got him. As now this slider's punched to the left side, Gio charges, fires the first as well, in time, one away. Gio playing the shortstop position because of the shift, but he makes the play for the first out here. And that brings up Mitch Garver, who was a strikeout victim in his first at-bat. Swings through a fastball there, 0 oh and 1. So the Yankees now shift the other way against the righty Garver. And a slider, a hanging slider through the hole. Judge will get it in quickly, but a one out single for Garver. It's the first hit of the day for the Twins, and the shift beats the Yankees and breaks up the no no. Yeah, a bit of a hanger. That was middle, in, that was middle down. And Garver went opposite field with it as Simmons 0 for 2 takes a strike. 0 and 1. Only the second time today for Cole out of the stretch. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. And now a little dribbler back to the mound. Cole's going to go to second for 1 on the first. Not in time. But they do get the lead runner in Garver. Not fleet of foot there. So that'll go 1-4. As I believe that was LeMahieu who took it. But Simmons hustling down the line got there. Yeah, FaZe, I mean, that's the good thing is you got our three best pitchers going against Boston. So that misses inside to Arias 2-0. and And again, that was a bad call by the umpire. Should have been called a strike. That one's a strike, though. 2-1. and one. The 2-1 to Arias. Chopped foul, 2-2. Two and two. Now this one grounded back to Cole. He will field, flip the first, and despite the single and the fielder's choice, Cole gets out of the inning. We go bottom six. Yankees still up 2-0. That's A.J. Pollock, 0-for-1 tonight with a pop-out, will lead off the bottom of the sixth. No, I agree, FaZe. It's set up for us to win as Pollock chases one in the dirt, 0-1. Now two for 14 in his career against Maeda. Maeda still got plenty in left in the tank. He's only at 54 pitches as Pollock takes a backdoor curve for a strike 0-2. Uh, Andrew, I just said I really wish that they what they did last year with the playoffs is what they did going forward. Round of three, round of five, and then two rounds of seven. As Pollock laces a single to left field, that's a base hit as he beats the shift. Now, Garver has a good arm, but Maeda is slow to the plate. As LeMay, who smacks this one to right field, it's going to dunk him for a base hit. As that falls in front of Kepler. Pollock took a big lead off of first, but wasn't going on that first pitch, and LeMay, who gets a single. So now this is a big at-bat for Aaron Judge. Two on, nobody out. Yankees looking for insurance. The first pitch is low, 1-0. and oh. Judge lays off the slider in the dirt. Maeda would love another ground out from Judge here to try and get out of this jam. Well, that's also fair, Andrew. There's, there's be a lot more money involved. That is true. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One one. More money for baseball. I mean, that's not a bad thing, though. They're looking to try and up the revenues. The 1-1, one, one. ooh, good high strike, hits the top of the zone. That splitter kind of just tumbled in there. One and two. It'll be a one-two to judge high, two and two. He lays off that waist fastball. Good speed at second, bad speed at first. This misses inside three and two. Gregorius on deck. The 3-2 to Aaron. Ball four. He lays off the curveball. And the bases are now loaded full of Yankees for ice cold Didi Gregorius. If Didi's ever going to break out of his slump, now is the time. He's 0 for 12 in the playoffs. He hits Maeda well, though, historically. Takes a backdoor slider for a strike 0-1. He has struck out and grounded out tonight. Even a deep fly ball to get Pollock in. Fouls back that splitter out of play. 0-2 oh, just a little late. 
It'll be an 0-2. Pop them up on the infield. Infield fly rule in effect. Simmons makes the catch. One away and Didi's struggles continue. As now Aaron Hicks 0 for 2 with a couple of ground outs. One of the Yankees' hottest hitters coming into tonight. As that slider does not slide and stays outside, Hicks finished the season with an even 200 hits. The 1-0, inside 2-0. Nowhere to put Hicks. Yankees up 2-0, looking to break this wide open. The 2-0, fouled back and out of play. Good fastball there from Maeda. Hicks was a bit late on it after all the slow stuff. Two and one. 70th pitch of the night is low. Three and one. Voight on deck. What you gonna do? Where you gonna put Aaron Hicks? The three one. Hammer to right field. It's no doubt about it. Goodbye, baseball. It's grand salami time. Get out the rye bread and mustard, Grandma. We want some grand salami. Aaron Hicks hits it to the second deck. And the Yankees have busted it open. They are up 6-0 in game one of the ALCS. Aaron Hicks absolutely destroys that 3-1 pitch. No doubt about it. What a bomb! That baseball's going to go get sliders. It was so far up the second deck. And that'll do it for my eight. A one hitter too late. A single, a single. He got Gregorius to pop out. Oh, he also walked Judge. And then Hicks says, see you later. Says goodbye baseball as Randy Dobnik now comes in, long reliever. Picked up two wins again in that Houston series. Right now, just trying to limit the bleeding. Voight 0 for 2 tonight, chases an inside sinker 0 and 1. And when you take pitches, good things happen. Sinker, slider, change of fastball pitcher. As the 0 1 misses outside 1 and 1. Awesome phase, awesome. The one one inside, two and one. The two one to Luke checks his swing on the sinker, two and two. And now this one swing and a miss, just missed that slider, was well out in front of it. Strike three. I guess they said he was out in front of it. He just missed it over the top of it. As now Real Muto chases a slider 0-1. JT Real Muto, your batting champion after Jordan Alvarez went ice cold in September and lost 30 points on his batting average in a month. He went from 350 to almost 321. Or almost under 320, I think it was 321. As this is grounded to the left side, and Josh Donaldson robs Real Muto for the second time today to end the inning. But Aaron Hicks! No, don't show Josh Donaldson. The game's so stupid. Who cares? Aaron Hicks hits a grand slam, and we're up 6 0, top seven in the Bronx. As now Cole, a fastball right down Broadway, fouled off by Polanco, 0 and 1. Probably Cole's last inning of work, now up by six. As this one lined the left center field, that's going to be a base hit. Hicks is going to cut it off. Polanco going for second. Hicks is through, is offline. And that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. Darren O'Day starting to warm for the Yankees. There's a strike at the knees to Hoskins 0-1. Now this chopped foul 0-2. This one up the middle, but LeMahieu is there. Fires the first in time as Polanco goes to third. One away here, though, in the top of the seventh. The Yankees will trade an out for a run at this point. McCutcheon 0-2 with a couple strikeouts, though. 
Takes one inside, 1-0. and Cole is, uh, you want to also save Cole because he might have to pitch again this series. You never know. As this one up the middle. So the run will score. McCutche McCutcheon will get an RBI ground out. But two away here in the seventh. And it's 6-1 New York. And that brings up Max Kepler. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a line out to left. Takes one just outside, 1-0. and Swing and a miss on a bad changeup. Chased it, 1-1. One and one. Now a backdoor slider hits the top of the zone, 1-2. and two. It'll be a 1-2. Strike three, caught him looking, froze him at the knees. We go bottom seven. Get up and stretch. Yankees are up six to one. That would be very good for our pen phase. Yes, I agree. We need length out of our starters. As Adam Frazier, one for two with a solo home run. And actually, it's going to be Zach Britton warming for the Yankees. Looks like Britton will come in for... Yeah, Britton, looks like Britton will come in for the eighth. As uh, two of the three guys do not hit lefties as good. Adam Frazier, one for two, takes one outside, one and oh. The 1-0, uh, fouled back out of play, 1-1. One one. Dobnik works quickly. There's a good sinker for a strike, 1-2. and two. Frazier got the scoring, started with a solo home run in the third, followed by another by Gio Urshela. Oh, and they plunk him. No intent there, I believe. And that'll bring up Gio Urshela, 1-2 for two. again, as I was mentioning, his solo home run. Right after Frazier's in the third. So Frazier off of first. As Geo chases an outside slider 0-1. That'll be the 9-1-9 uh, nine, nine hitter Pollock. Who got that rally in the sixth inning started. Swing and miss their own two. He singled. Pollock singled. Judge walked. Didi popped out. It's the 0-2 to Geo. Swing and a miss. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Got him on three straight pitches. One away. And now that brings up Pollock, one for two with a single and a run scored. And then Aaron Hicks on a 3-1 pitch, hammered a hanging splitter. As Pollock pops the first pitch up, jammed him with a slider. Garver, right in front of home plate, makes the catch two away here in the bottom of the seventh. And that brings up DJ LeMayhew. He's one for three with a single and a run scored. And LeMayhew up the middle is going to be a base hit. Frazier's going to go first to third. It's cut off in the gap by Cave. And the Yankees have runners at the corners with two away here in the seventh as LeMayhew might be starting to heat up here, which is just what the doctor ordered if you're a Yankee fan. Aaron Judge now 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored, and he fouls off the first pitch 0-1. That walk by Judge with two on and no one out was huge. It was a 3-2 pitch. He took the outside curveball. Now grounds this up the middle and through for a base hit. LeMayhew will hold at second, but it is an RBI single for Judge. The Yankees get the run. They gave up in the seventh right back. It is 7-1 New York. And now that will bring up the ice cold Didi Gregorius. And actually, we hate to do this to him. Sort of, but Didi has not been hitting well at all. I want to get some of these young guys' experience. Jason Dominguez, the switch-hitting rookie. They call him the next Juan Soto. He hits better from the left side. He will get in that bat as the Yankees look for insurance runs, and that misses outside 1-0. Didi now 0 for 13 in the playoffs. He might lose his DH job at this rate. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. The 1-1, uh, one, one. swing and a miss there by Dominguez, 1 and 2. 
Bad speed at second, or below average speed, we'll say, as Dominguez spoils a change up there. Still one and two. Above average speed at first. But on a, a slow roller, if it gets through, LeMay, who's getting waved home. Swing and a miss late on the sinker. Strike three. Fooled him as it was almost right down Broadway. But that'll do it for Dominguez as Dobnik gets in. And in comes Zach Britton for his third appearance of the postseason. An inning and two-thirds of shutout ball. Pitched a shutout inning against the Angels in game two, or game one. And then uh, finished off game three with a fly ball and a strikeout. And Josh Donaldson leads off. He's 0 for 2. Fouls it off at the plate and off a real moot, though. 0 and 1. Now that misses just low, one and one. Good fastball there from uh, Britain. And now a sinker miss, swung on a miss, one and two. Slider misses down low, two and two. Now brushes him off the plate. Count goes full, Jake Cave on deck. Swing and a miss, got him on the sinker. Strike three, one away. As we look at Garrett Cole's line, one walk, one run, two hits, 10 strikeouts in seven innings pitched. That is ace stuff right there. As that swung on a miss by Cave, he's 0 for 2. 0 and 1 now the count. Fouls off a fastball. Quickly in the hole, 0 and 2 as Britain working fast. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Cave chases the slider. Strike 3, 2 away here in the 8th. And that brings up Mitch Carver who broke up the no-no in the 6th with a solid single to right center. He takes a strike right down Broadway. 0 oh, and 1. Now fouls back the fastball. Can't catch up to it at 97. 0 oh, and 2. And now this one, he's going to have his second single of the day through the same spot, that shift beating single to the right side. So the inning continues, and that brings at the top of the lineup. It's Angelton Simmons, who's 0 oh, for 3. And he takes a strike in the outside part of the plate. 0 oh, and 1. Checks his swing there on a fastball from Britain just out of the zone, one and one. Again, a little outside, Simmons lays off, two and one. Now fouled off at the plate, two and two. Three and two as the slider misses low, Araya's on deck. There goes the runner, this one ripped on the left field line, foul, still three and two. Now this one grounded the third, Geo there. So despite the two out single, nothing else. Britain pitches a nice, nice eighth. We go bottom eight, Yankees still up seven to one. And it looks like Darren O'Day will come in and pitch the ninth and try and close it down. Hicks one for three, but the one, it was a monstrous grand slam to right. One swing of the bat, he busted this game open, and the Yankees did not look back. Swing and a miss there, 0-2. He continues his hot clutch postseason post hitting. As he spoils that one, still 0-2. And now smacks this one on the left field line. Just a little late. Still low and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One away. Dobnik has done pretty well here in relief. Gave up the one run last inning, but not much else. He's trying to go two and two thirds here. Luke Voigt 0 for three tonight. Struck out in his last at bat against Randy Dobnik. And smacks this to the right side and through for a base hit. So Voigt pulls a Garver and goes through the hole on the right side. And now that brings up JT Realmuto, who's been twice robbed tonight by Josh Donaldson. The first pitch to JT, swing and a miss on a slider, 0-1. The 0-1 lays off that slider, 1-1. One The 1-1, fouled back and out of play. 1-2. and two. 
Voight not fleet of foot. Real Muto, though, actually has great speed for a catcher. Good speed overall, I would say. One, two, oh, and he plunked him. That's the second Yankee tonight to get hit, and Real Muto is heated. Both of those by Dobnik, by the way, as he glares at the Yankee dugout. And now that brings up Adam Frazier, who was the first hit by pitch victim. He also has a solo home run tonight. Swings and misses there on the sinker, 0-1. The 0-1, swing and a miss on a slider, 0-2. It'll be an 0-2 to Adam Frazier. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him on the inside slider. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Fifth K for Dobnik. And now that brings up Gio Urshela, who's one for three. He had a solo home run in his uh, first half bat. Two on, two outs. Yankees up 7-1, to one, bottom eight. Looking for more here in the eighth. As Gio skies one to right, deep but playable. Kepler is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. We go top nine, last hopes here for the Twins as Darren O'Day comes on for his second appearance of the postseason. Pitched a perfect inning, uh, or a near perfect inning, gave up, gave up one hit in game one against the Angels. That's right, him and Britton built the bridge to green in game one. He pitched the seventh, now on in the ninth with a six-run lead. Luis Arias will lead off here. Hit, hit 0 for 3 tonight. Takes, oh, what a perfect strike from O'Day there in the inside corner, 0 and 1. And then a second pitch swinging, popped it up, foul ground. Luke Voigt goes back, makes the catch, one away here in the top of the ninth. And that brings up Jorge Polanco, 1 for 3 with a double and a run scored. The only run of the night for the Twins as that misses high, 1 and 0. He doubled and then back-to-back -back ground outs. And the Yankees took the two outs and gave up the one run as they were up 6-1 at that point. As that misses inside, 2-1. and one. Good backdoor sinker there, 2-2. Two two. That had a lot of movement on it. Swing and a miss, tied him up with the inside slider, strike three. Twins are down to their last hope in the form of Reese Hoskins, who's 0 for 2 today with a walk. Just inside, said the umpire, 1-0. I guess he doesn't want to go home tonight. Is this one on the right field line? That'll be a shift-beating single, maybe even a double. Judge has a long way to go. Hoskins going for two. Judge's throw. Not in time. Hoskins slides around Frazier's tag. It's a two-out double, and the Twins are still alive as Andrew McCutcheon now up at the plate. And McCutcheon skies the first pitch to left center. Hicks, though, has a bead. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. The Yankees take game one, seven to one. As they roll over the Minnesota Twins. Garrett Cole improves the 2-0 and in the postseason. Baldelli looking to the sky, doesn't know what to do. The Yankees celebrate on the mound. O'Day got the last three outs. Again, Maeda falls to 0-1 in the postseason. Polanco again, a double and only run scored. Aaron Hicks, a grand slam. Your top hitter for the Yankees. The Yankees are celebrating. They're three wins away from the World Series. Garrett Cole, your player of the game. Let's go open a pack, everybody. Maeda, that'll hurt your ERA. Six runs in five and a third innings. Woo! Though tomorrow will not be Jordan Montgomery versus Smeltzer. It will be, of course, Luis Castillo. Although, yeah, it'll be Castillo. We'll have Severino pitch on the road. And then, honestly, game four is a question mark. Do we go with Tyon? Or do we go with Montgomery, who has pitched much better than Tyon? Down the stretch. I'm actually thinking Montgomery. I don't think we use Tyon except for in long relief if we need him. And then game five would be would be Cole again. And then we obviously we go through. It'd be Cole, Castillo, and then all hands on deck should this go seven. So Yankees up 1-0. Mets up 2-0. 
We will save, we will go open a pack, and then we will call it a night. Because I know we unlocked that home run derby pack. Also, guys, I want to show you something. It's, my luck is so terrible. I didn't get I didn't get the Yelich card. Again, a card I want. I buy a bunch of packs. I got nothing. Nothing. All right, here we go. We're looking for that 99 Alonzo, and we didn't get it. <laughs> well, we don't have Joey Gallo, so we'll take him. And this bat, well, because we already have, like, a bunch of them, we'll turn it into the snubs. But, uh... Gallo was the only one of those we did not have. How close are we to uh, 99 Otani? Well, we're still a ways away. But, um, so there you have it. That'll do it for us here tonight. I appreciate everybody who came back or hung around after all the technical difficulties the first 15 minutes. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us again. It shouldn't. Actually, the computer's running better now. I should have probably done that update sooner. That's on me. But uh, have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Games two and three of the ALCS against the Twins tomorrow night here on MLB The Show with Ray Carcillo. Good night, everybody.